Hello everybody, this is Xarian Art with another video. Um, this is just going to be about sock texture. I actually got uh, this these socks to be actually quite uh, realistic looking in my opinion. You know, with all the lace and the holes that you see in real socks. So I just thought I'd uh, take a sample from my live stream recorded video and, you know, commentate it and talk about how I did it. So, basically, what you're seeing is what I'm doing is, it's like sort of a base color thing almost, where I'm getting colors in, like I usually do, except for the top part of the sock where I was doing all the folds and stuff, so... But yeah, just shading in <clears throat> my lights and my darks. And I'll be continuing that throughout uh, both socks all the way to the bottom. This one I did a little bit too dark at the beginning, but you know, I end up fixing, fixing that later on. So that first sock kind of made it a little bit. I'm guessing a little bit too big, I'm not sure if I remember right, but uh by the way if the video just stops it's it's not because it's like lagging or anything, it's just that I I have tabbed out while I was live streaming to talk on Steam chat or something, so probably check my browser for email or whatever it was, I don't know. Yeah, so be finishing the rest of the sock here. So this took me about I don't know, maybe three hours in total, I guess, both of them. But I did both of the socks in two separate sessions, so and there will also be a brush that I customly made on the fly to get the textures that I needed. Uh, the one thing that I won't be showing in the video is how I made the flowers texture. But it's really simple. If you make a new layer and you use like a flower brush, like say a rose, a custom made brush like you can download on off the internet, like from DeviantArt or something. Um, <clears throat> Basically, you just use that brush on a separate layer, then you then you change that layer to like a dissolve or something, and then you edit its exposure, its contrast, and its brightness, and it comes out to look like sparkly lace that uh, it's very feminine. So you'll see at the end what I'm talking about. I'll reveal the finished product of the sock. So so there's my reference that I will used to make these uh, seams or curves or whatever they are. Even just adding those uh, little folds makes the sock just look so much more realistic in my opinion. <coughs> I didn't want to replicate those uh, top of the socks there just didn't seem like it fit I think it's always best when you're adding a new layer of color that you should always work on a separate layer and not the same one so even though I started out with those shadows on the edges I'm adding some lighter colors because you know she's standing in a white background. That's actually what the finished product is. It's white, so it has to have some sort of bouncing light on the sock, just like it does in the actual reference. I think it's always good to use reference because we often 
as humans, we often remember things incorrectly or only accurately. We never, we're never a hundred percent. So it's always good to use a reference. This isn't part of the sock, but I guess I forgot I forgot to edit it out the, out of the video, you know. So um, you can just ignore this part. I'll probably be painting the other one part too, like where it's on our other foot. Not really sure what to call these because haven't really looked it up. I think the only thing that I did different apart from a sock that's in the real world is that I added some uh, gold balls like at the bottom of the sock for some kind of decoration. I kind of wanted them to originally be uh, diamonds for a more feminine feel but um, I just felt the work in general got really laborious so I just had to come to a point of realization it's like it's not really going to be worth it to render all those diamonds it's just too much work and But there's a fine line of artwork being appreciated and then artwork being made. So, you know, if, if I were, I guess if I were like some super popular artist, like I would have more motivation to work beyond some odds or beyond some doubts. But, uh, you know, I'm not that person. So... Even though my artwork should not be about what other people think, it should be about me. So. And I'm constantly told that. But you know, sometimes I, th I think this goes for everybody. It's just like we all want to be famous, and then sometimes because we're not, that gets us down sometimes. So. So here are these gold things that I was talking about. So in a little bit you'll start to see um, Oh, I should really edit this out, but um, in a little bit you will start to see some uh, brush making, and I will be using that photo reference that was that was in the video earlier. Okay, so here it is. I'm trying to make a pattern there with those mountains or zigzag lines. So the, basically, I'm just copying and pasting and creating like a line and then put them together closer and use a distort uh, editing to make them straight, make it into a brush, uh, adjust the spacing, and then you know, apply it accordingly. Use the skin color to make the holes. 
and duplicate that and um, adjust it with the warp tool and basically I do that all around the entire sock and it just it just works but you have to you know play with it with the eraser and you know figure out your you know how how what's at what point does it feel right does it look realistic so um and then basically you take the first perfect rendition that you feels just right and then you basically copy it and paste it all over the sock but you have to follow the entire pattern of straight lines and connect those straight lines to the next set of straight lines so it's not just as simple as copying and pasting anywhere you want to on the sock I think I m may as well go ahead and upload the brush somewhere, probably Mediafire, because I don't want to upload something on DeviantArt just for showing one brush that I did for a set of two socks. Not really a lot of work. So um, I'll probably upload it to Mediafire. And yeah, you can try it out, I guess. For all those people who probably come across the issue of, you know, you can't get your socks to look real or realistic. Maybe it could help. So here's the final product. As I said earlier, there's no video of me showing how to get the uh, flowers textured in, but I did explain it earlier if you were listening. So. You can feel free to try that out. In the end, it looks great in my opinion. So, <clears throat> it's a lot of work though, just because it was time lapse. It looks really simple, but it's not. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you can try it out for yourself. The video is going to end pretty soon. So as always, thanks for watching, subscribe, share the video around the internet, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, thanks. Bye.